Unraveling the Mystery of the Horsehair Worm. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore an intriguing topic in the English language the phrase, horsehair worm. This phrase might sound a bit odd at first, but by the end of this video, you'll understand what it means, where it comes from, and how to use it. So, let's dive in and unravel this linguistic mystery together. The term, horsehair worm, actually refers to a type of parasitic worm, scientifically known as nematomorpha. These worms are often mistaken for horsehairs that have come to life in water. They are long, thin, and can be found in wet environments like ponds and puddles. It's a fascinating example of how language can be influenced by nature and human observation. Historically, people believed that these worms were horsehairs that had magically turned into living creatures when they came into contact with water. This old wives' tale is a perfect example of how folklore can influence language and the names we give to things in the natural world. The name, horsehair worm, is a direct reflection of this ancient belief. In modern English, the phrase is used more scientifically to refer to the actual worm species. It's a great example of a term that has both a literal and a figurative origin. When you hear someone talk about a horsehair worm, they are most likely referring to the creature and not a literal horsehair. And that's a wrap on horsehair worm. I hope this video has been informative and has shed light on how language, folklore, and science can intertwine. Remember, language is not just a tool for communication, but also a reflection of our history, culture, and the natural world around us. Thanks for watching, and keep exploring the wonders of the English language.